with a video tutorial on how to get to Go Saucer in Final Fantasy XIV online. First of all, you have to finish uh, the quest to unlock Go Saucer, but once you unlock it, you can always go back to Go Saucer anytime uh, from the three main city Limsa, Lominsa, New Gradania, and Oda. You can't teleport there. What you have to do is uh, you have to take an airship there. But here I am in Oda, right here in the Ruby Exchange port. And I'm just going to bring up the map for you guys to see where I'm at on the map. Alright, so after that, what you got to do is just go to one of these Ethernet. I'm going to go to the main one since it's the closest one by me. And let's head there. Once you reach the Ethernet, you can just click on it and then what you want to do is you want to teleport to airship landing which is right here. Alright. And then you just teleport there. Once you're in the airship landing, you can just request a Talk to the airship ticketer and seek a passage to the ghost officer. Alright, and let's get there. And here we are. We are at the ghost officer. And as you can see, this is like Final Fantasy version of like the casinos, I guess. Uh, they got a lot of like different games in here, mini games that you can play that you've seen in past Final Fantasy IV uh, games and they add some different ones too that I've never seen in any Final Fantasy games before. Some of the ones that are in the past Final Fantasy game is Triple Triad, Chocobo Racing, you know, and stuff like that. and. They also have this game that's kind of similar to a Pokemon game, like Pokemon battle game. Uh, it is called Vermillion, and and I guess it's kind of like their their version of a mini game for like Pokemon game. But my favorite thing to do is Chocobo racing and. Uh, and triple triad but they also have mahjong too in this game but yeah this is how you get to uh, ghost saucer from Oda but you can go in any main city to go to the airship and once you hit the airship landing you can just uh, you know choose whichever airship landing you want to go to and talk to the ticketer and they can just take you to ghost saucer from there so now I'm just gonna run around Go Saucer for a little bit so you can see what they have in here. Everything, all the colors is very bright. And here you can see some of the stuff that you kind of reminiscing of Final Fantasy VII Go Saucer a little bit. You know, play these little mini games. Yeah, that was like one of my favorite game, RPG game of all time. It's Final Fantasy VII. And I feel like that's like when it first came out. It was like the pinnacle, you know, RPG ever made. It kind of paved the way for a lot of other RPG out there. And you never even really, you know, understood how good RPG can be until I play Final Fantasy 7. But yeah, this is it. Um, this is the Gold Saucer, so hope you're able to find it with this tutorial video, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.